All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, maybe you just saw my little bloopers reel that just happened. Um, I'm just going to trust that everybody's here and you can see me and you can hear me. Um, and I want to show you a really cool place today. So go ahead and leave me a little like or a heart if you see me and if you hear me so I know that I'm not just calling out into the, the wide open <laughs> internet space. All right, I saw a heart. Awesome. Thanks, whoever that was from. Um, well, with that, I'll go ahead and get started. And let me adjust a little bit so you can see this beautiful place where I am. So hi, everyone. I am Angie, and I'm an interpreter for California State Parks. And I specifically work up in the North Coast Redwoods District, that fantastic Facebook page that you're following. And um, I want to show you a new place today. Last week, well, let's say two weeks ago, I was at um, the Humboldt Bay and I talked to you about the Dungeness Crab. Last week, I was at Samoa Marine, uh, a marine protected area, state marine conservation area. And we talked about a mermaid's purse that I found, um, a skate or a shark egg casing. And today we are at a new marine protected area. Hey, Emmanuel, thanks for leaving a comment, um, called Redding Rock. And there's actually two marine protected areas right here. And I know it's a little bit windy. Um, I'm gonna try and do my best to talk loud for you so you can all hear me. Um, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. <laughs> um, and here at Redding Rock State Marine Conservation Area and State Marine Reserve, there's some really special stuff to see. So um, I'm kind of hidden behind this really beautiful piece of driftwood and I'm sitting really close to the mouth of Redwood Creek. And I am on a beach that's right near one of our visitor centers called Kekel Visitor Center. It's a part of Redwood National and State Park. So up here on the North Coast, we're really lucky because we partner with the National Park Service and we co-manage a few parks. And our visitor center, Kekel Visitor Center, is right nearby, just a short walk away from where I am. And um, that's a really special place to come visit. Unfortunately, right now, um, our parking lots and our visitor centers are closed. And I know that all of you are at home and practicing good social distancing. So that is absolutely wonderful. Go ahead and pat yourselves on the back. Thanks for doing that, for keeping yourselves and your community safe. Um, just a little information about what parks are doing. We're trying to get out, get interpreters out in the field at least to bring a little bit of our parks into your homes during this weird time. So we're being really careful. We're washing our hands. We're using social distancing and um, we are sanitizing our equipment, washing our hands, using hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. So without further ado, um, let's go ahead and explore this place right behind me. And if you want to go ahead and press share or like on this video, you can go ahead and watch it with all of your Facebook friends. So even if you're not together physically, um, you can kind of come together digitally and explore this beautiful place with people that you're friends with on Facebook. So please do that. Um, again, I'm sorry for the wind. I'm going to try and talk nice and loud so you can hear me and this nice piece of driftwood behind me is keeping us a little bit blocked from the wind. So I mentioned already that I am near the mouth of Redwood Creek and it leads to a marine protected area. And I talked a little bit about those in past live streams, but they're places that are sort of similar to state parks but they're underwater. So they're places where we've protected the animals and the habitats where they live. Um, and we have two marine protected areas right here. So I want to show you a map of those two places. I'm going to go ahead and see if you guys can see this. You can see there's a red kind of polygon shape and a blue one. And I am right here at sort of the border, the southern border of Redding Rock State Marine Conservation Area. And right next to Redding Rock State Marine Conservation Area is this red one called Redding Rock State Marine Reserve. And really, they are just off the shore right here. And they are a namesake for a rock called Redding Rock. And I'll see if I can, if I can point it out to all of you. It might be a little bit hard to see because of some coastal fog, but it is out there behind me um, and almost about three miles uh, offshore, so it's pretty far away. 
Hi, Lorinda from Florida. Thanks for being here. Um, and Rose from San Francisco. Super fun. I love that we have people all over the nation tuning in with us. So I want to go ahead and tell you a little something about marine protected areas that I think is really, really special and unique to California's marine protected areas. So just like we have lots of parks in California, we have those MPAs. And they are, like I said, that protect animals and their habitats, um, but they're underwater, right? They're harder to see, maybe harder to visit. And we, really right, so we have over 120 marine protected areas in California, which is really neat, all the way uh, from the Oregon border down to the Mexico border, because we have so much beautiful ocean um, 